What's up everyone and thank you so much for joining us again at Investing City. Today we'll be reviewing the book, The Art of Learning. This fascinating book is an interesting read for anyone who is looking to improve their performance in any aspect of life. The author is Josh Whiteskin, world champion in both chess and tai chi push hands. Josh recounts his learning process and how he became world class in two seemingly very different activities. There are three main ideas from this book. The first, mindset is everything. The second, we need to reflect with intentionality. And the third, get comfortable with discomfort. Pretty early on in the book, Josh clarifies main idea number one about mindset. He says there are two types of learners, entity and incremental, modeled after Stanford psychologist Carol Dweck's book, Growth Mindset. Entity learners believe their intelligence and abilities are fixed, whereas incremental learners believe they can improve in all areas. Take Johnny and Julie, for example. When Johnny gets an A on his math test, his parents praise him for being so smart. When he fails English, though, his parents back him up, saying, We were never good at English either. Don't worry about it. On the other hand, we have Julie. When she gets an A in math, her parents praise her work ethic, and when she fails English, they focus in on how she could improve the process. It's just like hermit crabs. When hermit crabs get too big for their shell, they have to find a new home. But there's a period where they're vulnerable, without a shell. Entity learners never even leave their shell, so they starve their potential. Main idea number one is mindset is everything. Believing we can grow is actually the first step to growing. This brings us to the second main idea. We need to reflect, which helps us cultivate our mindsets. Constantly asking yourself, what could I have done better? Gives you a feedback loop. Once you hone in on how you can improve, you'll give yourself a better chance of figuring out the solution. Let's say you're hanging out with a friend, and after a slightly sarcastic comment by you, your friend gets really angry. Before you know it, you're outraged as well. After the debacle, you take some time to reflect on the situation. You are intentional about improving the relationship with your friend rather than never wanting to talk to her again. The first few times of reflecting, you might be scared of the person in the figurative mirror, but after a while, you'll be a hero. The second main idea is reflect with intentionality. But reflecting and believing you can grow can be uncomfortable because they take effort. And this brings us to our third point. We have to continually cultivate our attitudes towards discomfort. One quote that sums up Josh Whiteskin and effectively the book is, When uncomfortable, my instinct is not to avoid discomfort, but become at peace with it. Whether this means speaking up first in class, or going an extra mile for a friend, learn to love the discomfort. Let's say you had the opportunity to speak in front of thousands of people. Would you take it? Most people are afraid of public speaking, but some face up to their fears and the discomfort and just do it anyway. Take the more uncomfortable path. You'll grow more from it. Now what I want you to do is get out a piece of paper. Yes, you. And now get out a pen. If you don't have those materials, you can use your phone. No, not that phone. Or that one. Okay, there we go. Feel free to pause the video right after what I say. Set a reminder to write down one thing every day that you're going to do that makes you uncomfortable. Then do that one thing. After a while, you'll feel weird if you don't do something that stretches you and makes you uncomfortable. Main idea number three, get comfortable with discomfort. The book ends just like it started, with Josh as a champion. From eight-year-old chess prodigy to a young guy competing against Tai Chi legends, Josh's proven strategies can help you too. To summarize, know that your abilities are not fixed. Don't be afraid to get out of your shell. Make it a practice to be uncomfortable and then you'll grow and grow and grow. But before ending, I'd like to brainstorm applicable down-to-earth ideas that we can use to implement these principles. Think about the thing that makes you really uncomfortable. Maybe it's showing up to places by yourself or sitting in a room alone with no social media. What a thought. Whatever it is, try to sit in the tension of your discomfort. It won't be easy, but I can assure you it'll be worth it and you'll get better at it. It's almost like a muscle. Let's call it the discomfort muscle. Work it out. You don't even need a gym membership. Thank you so much for spending your time with us here at Investing City. Have a fantastic day.